I just toured the state capitol on my lunch break. Oh, oh. Very frustrating day. It tastes like sweet and dirt. But I'm so tired of having to do sock reports. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. Happy Monday. I'm here at a hotel today. You'll never guess where I'm at. Yeah, I'm in Nashville, so I have a work training today. It starts at 8 and it's 6.30, so I'll probably leave here at like 7.15 or so. And yes, I'm sunburnt. I was out in the sun a lot this weekend. I hope it goes away and doesn't start peeling. But anyway, if you guys are new here, my name's Heaven. I'm a CPA, Certified Public Accountant, and I'm a state auditor with the state of Tennessee. And we're based out of Nashville, but I actually work out of Knoxville. So when I do come to Nashville, I'll stay in a hotel and then I go back to Knoxville, so. My stomach's a little upset, and I think it's because I ate really late last night because I got hungry. I woke up just feeling like, ugh. So, I'm gonna try and eat my breakfast bar and hope that it settles my stomach. Also, I brought a blazer in case I wanted to look really fancy today, but there's really no need for that, so I'm not going to. But I carried it all the way up here, but oh well, we'll carry it back down. <laughs> and our training is actually not at our building, but it's at one of our sister buildings, one of the other state-owned buildings. So I'm gonna park in a new location. It should be fine, but <laughs> it could fill up. I have no idea, we'll see. Good morning, Nashville. Look how pretty. This hair is driving me nuts. I like slept on it weird, I think. All right, y'all, it's seven o'clock. I'm gonna go ahead and head down because they didn't give me my receipt at the door. I need to get it. I may stop at McDonald's for some coffee. I gotta figure out my parking situation. I'm gonna try and carry everything in one trip. Let's tie back the hair until we get in the car. I didn't pack a lunch, but I got a Subway sandwich last night. So I have the other half of my foot long in here but there was no freezer in the refrigerator in the hotel so i didn't get to freeze my freezer packs but who doesn't love a good lukewarm subway sandwich <laughs> i think that's everything let me put my camera away so i don't look like a weirdo made it to the car that's one step this morning they got me my receipt making sure i got the state rate and they did all right we're good this is the parking pass i have to use to leave the hotel i think and then i need my state parking pass to park work and I need my ID I also need my comptroller pen but your girl lost it last week at the panel I spoke at I got to speak at an alumni panel with a bunch of superb professional women that knew what they were talking about and then me <laughs> I got to talk to a lot of students and it was great it was a lot of fun I kind of want McDonald's coffee but I also my stomach is still feeling unsettled so maybe we shouldn't well, I'm gonna have to park at the bottom of Capitol Hill that's the only downside I'm gonna have to climb up a mountain to get there, but then we'll get to go down the mountain when we leave work. I'll be sweaty to start the day. It'll match this random hair I've got going on. <gasps> I can't back out that way. Do you guys see how close that truck is behind me? Didn't think that one through. How do you get out of this hotel? Oh, there's somebody working this. Okay, well maybe he can help me. I had problems with this last one. But I, oh. I love it. I love it tonight. Oh, <laughs> oh but it did not get it. Oh, is he gonna mess it up? Sorry. I need a small car with my small arms, you know? <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, it's like jammed in there. Oh. Well, have a good one. Thank you. <laughs> Y'all want to do a dash cam, look outside, see the pretty city on this cloudy morning? Hold on. Ah! That's the building that my training's in, right here in my sunroof. It's the Tennessee Tower. It also has Chick fil A inside, so if you smell God's chicken, you know you're close. We're doing good on time. It's 7 30. I have a volleyball game tonight at 8 Eastern, and we're getting out of this training at 4 30 Central, which is 5 30 Eastern. It's a three hour drive plus traffic. If you can do math, then you'll say, Heaven, you ain't gonna make that eight o'clock game. And you may be right, we'll see. Next order of business is I found some rice aroni in my backpack. Very weird. Let's put it in my lunchbox where it belongs. All right, guys, I switched to the cell phone because I packed up my camera and my bag. We're gonna head out now. It is 7.45. I'm hoping I can get in right on time, sit in the back. Let's go. That's where we're headed, y'all. Up Capitol Hill. 
Okay, you guys, so I just toured the state capitol on my lunch break. You can't see it, but it's way over there. So I'm going to insert the footage that I got, but I got it tallways for an Instagram reel, so I apologize for that. But yeah, what a fun, adventurous lunch break. Since I don't really know any people in my training class, I didn't like go to lunch with anybody, but I instead had my own adventure. <laughs> guys I just made it back to the car so now we're about to sit in traffic on the way home but it's a really good training day the instructor was absolutely hilarious which just made it 10 times better the topic was on like professional communication okay I didn't really think I was gonna learn much but I did it was very relevant to my job and as you guys saw my lunch break I got to go visit the Capitol which was so much fun yeah it was a great day so now we're gonna race the clock and try and make it to my eight o'clock volleyball game we have two games so I'll probably miss the first one but I'll hopefully make the second one at 8 45 so it's no big deal <laughs> guys it's almost 10 o'clock and I just not made it home from volleyball we won the first game and then we lost the second game but I'm so scatterbrained with this whole day so I'm gonna unpack because I'm somebody that has to unpack the day of and I'm gonna eat something really quick I think I'm gonna make one of those little egg scramble kits but it's also late so I'm gonna make one of these you just crack an egg in it I think it's literally called yeah just crack an egg it's been a busy day then I'm gonna shower and hopefully be asleep here soon but oh my gosh what a Monday and a way to start the week so I'll see you guys tomorrow Good morning, you guys. Happy Tuesday. So my audit is working at the client site every single day because they got ransomware cyber attack and they don't trust giving remote access to their accounting system off site, which I can't say I blame them for. So we do work at the client every day and I pack my lunch every day because they got rid of their cafeteria during COVID. There are food trucks that hang out at my client. I think they would be there today, but y'all food trucks are not cheap. They should be you would think they are but they're not so i make a sandwich every day because i'm five and i never get tired of sandwiches i bring a yogurt some fruit gummies some ruffles potato chips some rich crackers i like to dip these in my yogurt a milk cream pie for a little dessert i always bring an emergency packet to put in my water some vitamin c magnesium zinc all the good things and then my breakfast bar which is just a cliff bar lunch is packed now i need to make some coffee Ooh, let's bring my new little coffee cup today it's a little tumbler that lee gave me from speaking at that panel we'll test it out today and once the coffee's ready then i'll be ready to go it is 7 10 so i'm gonna leave here at 7 15 get there by 7 30. All right, y'all, I just left work. It was a very frustrating day. Everything was going great until 10 in the morning, and then our audit software crashed, and it crashes like probably 20 times a day. Like, it's the worst software in the world, but it doesn't like permanently crash where it doesn't like start back up. So I lost a lot of work at 10. So then I left and went on a walk because I was fuming. I was about to throw my laptop in the river. When I walked outside, there were some guys playing cornhole. They had it all set up, and I was like, hey, can I play a quick game? And they were like, sure. So I played some cornhole. We'll consider that part of my lunch break. Then I came back, I was in a great mood. Worked for a couple more hours. Another crash, lost everything, again. Then I worked about an hour, crashed, lost everything the third time. And here we are, it's 3.30, and I said I'm done with it. So, we're gonna head home. Planned on working 10 hours today, but I didn't get anything done in a whole day, so why stay longer, you know? Also, volleyball got canceled tonight because of the rain. So, a friend wants to go to kickboxing at six. That's in two and a half hours. I'm just so irritated. I wanna get out of this mood. We're done with work. Let's forget about it. 
we'll try again tomorrow. All right guys, it's been about an hour. I'm in a much better mood. So I'm gonna go to kickboxing at six, it's 4.45, but we're about to get this big rainstorm and I don't wanna be driving in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave early because there's a TJ Maxx right next door. So I'm just gonna poke around. <laughs> I ran inside TJ Maxx and the only thing I was really looking for was like a workout jacket, as in like a really thin athletic wear jacket for when I go on my runs when it's a little too cold for short sleeve, but you don't wanna wear a heavy coat. So this looks like I work for New Balance. Very branded, but it works. It's also white, so we'll see how long that lasts. So this was 20. Then I found a cute little tank top, nothing fancy. It's like a little crop top for summer. I'm gonna try out this trend of biking shorts, biker shorts, whatever it's called. These were the only ones that didn't say Calvin Klein all over the side. We'll see if I like them. I don't think I'm going to. I don't like tight clothing at all. But anyways, that was $49 kickboxing are we ready honestly no not really i'm not really in the mood but it should be fun <laughs> i got some new wraps to tie up my hands i've been using my old wraps for over three years and the velcro just didn't stick anymore oh it's like super tight because it's not worn yet i don't know if mckaylee's here yet there are a lot of people walking in this may be a busy i may need to get in there and get a bag I wasn't really thinking about the crowds all right y'all let's go to kickboxing let's do this all right, guys, we just left kickboxing. Well, Charlie came with Wait. us. What do you think of Charlie? Wait. Oh, it's so cute. He's got his little iPad and his little mouse ears. That was a really good workout. Polly killed us, but we survived. <laughs> Got home, took a shower. I'm about to eat because I'm starving, but I'm trying on the clothes. I just got a TJ Maxx before I pop the tags. The tank top's pretty basic. It would need a more supportive bra, but we don't have to discuss that on here. Um, the biker shorts are really comfortable, actually. And I didn't get the spandexy material, but it's like a cloth soft material and it has a cell phone sleeve so we'll try these out next time i go to orange theory or something my ideal thing to wear is running shorts they're the most comfortable but on the rower machine and some of the weight lifting exercises you have to throw your feet up in the air things get crazy i literally feel like i work for new balance with this this is exactly what i was looking for i I'm, i don't love that it's stark white but look it even has a pocket i can like put my cell phone that would really weigh me down though but we can pop the tags now. They are heaven approved. You guys are totally gonna judge my dinner tonight, but I just make whatever I want because I cook for myself and it's great. <laughs> Two scrambled eggs with cheese, some garlic bread, a pickle, I love pickles, tomatoes, and then some cheese tortellini with extra cheese. With some milk, because my milk's going bad and we're gonna be drinking it for a couple days. <laughs> I'm gonna end the night with starting a new book in the New Testament, First Peter. I'm kind of excited about this one just because I've heard so much about Peter and now I get to read about him. Happy hump day, you guys. It's Wednesday. I just came into the kitchen and I saw my stove eye. Then I remembered that I was trying to wash it last night. I don't know why my first thought was that someone broke in and stole my stove eye. I did not sleep worth a crap. I am extremely tired. So I don't know how we're going to get through this day. I may have to stand up and work today. I'm realizing in this moment that I have an overlap in scheduled events. So for lunch, I'm participating in this water cooler combo thing. Which is really just lunch break with random people at work and we're just going to discuss random things. I signed up for it because I was like, what the heck? Maybe I'll meet new people at my workplace. It'll be fun. But I also have to walk banded on lunch. Both of these things take an hour. So, new yogurt flavor, chocolate orange. Never had it. We're going to get some Cheez-Its today. My favorite. <sighs> Y'all, I'll tell you what. Our audit software better be working today. <laughs> I will lose it if it doesn't. All right, y'all, I'm not even gonna sit on the couch and listen to music this morning because if I sit down, I'm gonna fall asleep. So we're gonna head out and get to work at 7.30 again. Happy Wednesday, you guys. It's 12.30, I'm gonna go walk Bandit on lunch. And it's been such a productive morning. I've gotten so much work done. Our audit software is working today, so that's good. Sadly, I decided to miss the water cooler convo. It was like a book club topic, which was perfect timing because I just read like, I don't know, eight books in March. <laughs> I was like ready to talk about all the books that I love. But it was at the same time as this and I didn't want to have to take a two hour lunch break. So let's go walk bandit. I also may snatch some coffee on the way back too if I have time because I may need a little extra caffeine today. And yes, I was listening to Eminem this morning to wake up. <laughs> oh my gosh, bandit. Do you see this? <gasps> okay. You're a good boy. You're the goodest. You are.
Y'all had dog walk with Bandit was hilarious. Like, there was some guys moving out of a U-Haul, moving out of their apartment into the U-Haul, and Bandit, like, tried to jump in their trailer, and I was like, oh, I'm so sorry, like, he's not my dog. I, he doesn't usually do this. It was just too funny. I decided I'm gonna drive to the Starbucks and hope that the line's not too long, because I really need another coffee today. Oh, I don't know when it's my turn. Oh, I don't know what to get. Oh, what should I get? Hi, thanks for choosing Starbucks. What can I get started for you? Uh, I'm gonna try a grande iced matcha tea latte. All right, anything else? No, that'll be it. Y'all, that was like dangerously spontaneous. I've never had a matcha in my life. <laughs> Here we go. We're gonna try it out. Oh, I don't need my wallet. I have the gift card. Y'all forgot to bring my wallet. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much. You're welcome, have a good day. You too. How do we feel about this, you guys? Is there even caffeine in this? <laughs> Is it a tea? I think it's a tea, isn't it? It's got caffeine. It tastes like sweetened dirt. All right, let's get back to work. What is up, you guys? Hallelujah. It is like 80 degrees outside. It's 5.15, I'm leaving work. I didn't even add up how many hours I got. I'll figure it out later. We got more than seven and a half, so that's great. All right, guys, I just got home a little bit ago. I think it's 5.30. I had a fantastic work day. I got so much done. I literally got to sign off on the entire investment section, which is awesome. Planned on doing that yesterday, but as we saw, I had to redo a lot of work, <laughs> including an issue that I had to write up for my client. I had to restart that whole issue from scratch, which is just annoying because it links to so many things. It has so many specific numbers for different years, different percentages and ratios. Anyway... Got to sign off in the whole section, so superb day. And then my lovely time of the month decided to show up three days early. <laughs> so instead of going to Orange Theory tonight, which is what I planned on doing and what I need to do, I am in a lot of pain and I didn't have any ibuprofen with me at work today. And I work with a bunch of men who would never just carry ibuprofen. So I just now got to take some. I've got my heating pad. <laughs> So I'm just gonna lay here until everything kicks in. Then we'll figure out what to do tonight. I'm also tired, so we may just lay here. All right, you guys, it's 7.30. <laughs> I just had the best nap of my life. So I ordered some DoorDash like an hour ago across town and it said it was gonna take an hour. Then I fell asleep and it was so great. And it's thunderstorming really bad. But I got some cheesecake from the Cheesecake Factory because that's what I really want. And then I got some like mozzarella sticks <laughs> or something totally not good for you. Oh my gosh, a blessing. More milk because it's going bad. <laughs> Y'all just want to say I've not gotten DoorDash since February 15th. Month and a half. Cheesecake got a little smushed, but that's all right. It'll taste the same. Oh my gosh, they gave me bread. The little appetizer thing at the table. So yeah, I got some fancy mozzarella sticks. <laughs> it's only a few of them. And then they gave me bread and butter. And that's what I really ordered was my chocolate cheesecake. So I only got like two bites of my cheesecake because I was full, but it was divine. So the rest of it's in the fridge waiting on me. Also, I somehow had an allergic reaction to something I ate tonight, which is not completely out of the ordinary. I'm allergic to everything, but my lips swelled up really big just on this right side. <laughs> I should have taken a picture, but I took a Benadryl, so it may be kicking in here soon, hopefully, and I'll get some sleep. I'm just gonna continue reading First Peter tonight. Also, I just put a poll up on my Instagram story asking how many of you guys like matcha? Because that was the nastiest drink ever. It tasted like grass water. I drank the whole thing, but I didn't finish it until 5 o'clock when I left work. When I, fin I was like chugging it to throw it away because it was so gross. But anyway, so probably we'll never get it again, but I'm glad I tried it. Happy Thursday, you guys. Happy Friday Eve. We're wearing a skirt. Who are we wearing a skirt to work? This period is an extremely painful one and I need a flexible waistband. So that's just being completely honest. So anyway, on that note, it is Friday Eve, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and eat my breakfast bar so I can have some ibuprofen. <laughs> but the good thing is if I work eight and a half hours today, which is what I worked yesterday, then I don't have to work tomorrow. So I'll have a three day weekend. So that's what we're gonna try and do today. So today's work goals, like I said yesterday, I finished the investments, which is awesome. And then I'll probably be working on the endowments today is the goal, but I also need to review some of the auditor's work. I feel fantastic today, and I think it's because I gave myself rest. Like, who would have thought? We'll make some coffee and then listen to some music to like mellow myself out, get ready for the day. 
then we'll head out. I'll probably get to work at 7.30 again. So I'm actually gonna get to work at eight because I waited for my ibuprofen to kick in. And I basically just had like a whole worship concert this morning, so I'm feeling good. Let's get this day started. All right, guys, we're taking our lunch break earlier today at 11.30 so I can go walk Bandit because I'm just annoyed with work. It's been a great work day so far. But I am so tired of having to do SOC reports. <laughs> Internal controls are very important for auditors to understand and to evaluate and to audit. However, it seems like every single audit that I'm on, I end up having to be the internal control expert and I have to read all the GASB standards, all the AICPA, the AECs, and I have to be the one to interview the client and ask him 45 questions. <laughs> I already spent over 15 hours on these SOC reports and I signed off on them and they're done. And yet they're not done because I need more detail, more clarification. <sighs> it's fine, you guys. I'm just, I'm just complaining today. I left work at 4.30. I needed to work until 5.30 to get all my hours in, but my friends are playing volleyball at 5.30. <laughs> so I took an hour of leave so I don't have to work the hour tomorrow. So. Let's get changed and play volleyball. We're putting sunscreen on because my whole forehead's peeling since we didn't put sunscreen on last time. <laughs> Well, it was so much fun. It was like eight of us, but I only knew one other person. So I just had a whole bunch of new friends, which is always exciting. But now I'm starving to death and it's 7.30. So we played for two hours. All right, guys, it's eight o'clock. I just made it home and I heated up some of those noodles, that cheese tortellini that I made the other night because I remembered that I had some fresh aged cheddar from Wisconsin in the fridge that I can put on it. So I'm about to have a great dinner. Also, I still have cheesecake from yesterday that I get to eat. Who's excited? So yeah, you guys, I'm taking tomorrow off. I'm gonna hang out with my sister because I haven't seen her in a several weeks. So I'm excited for that. I don't know what we'll do. But anyway, I'm gonna end the vlog here. It's the end of my work week. So thanks for hanging with me. It was a really fun week. Really productive, just fun and social and great. So yeah, no complaints here. <laughs> thanks for tuning in with me, you guys. And I'll see you next time. Bye, friends.